The caliper is held on by two 14 millimeter bolts. You have one on top right here, another on the bottom. In this case, we just need to remove the bottom one. We'll slide up the caliper. We'll suspend it from the strut using uh, two bungee cords. That way you keep it secure and don't place too much stress on the brake line. Now what I'm going to do is hit the wrench with a three pound hammer. That way you don't have to hit it with your hand, beat up your wrist and everything else. So now we have the caliper suspended, we can go ahead and remove the brake pads and then we'll get the bracket off. Now the caliper bracket is held on by two 17 millimeter bolts. You have one right here and another one right there. Good idea to spray these with WD-40 or PB Blaster. And again, we'll be hitting this wrench with the three pound hammer. and then your bracket comes right off. Now these rotors can really solidify to the hub here as this one is. So you, there's a couple of techniques to get this off. You can use a puller, you can uh, whack the circumference of the, uh, of the rotor with a heavy hammer, like this three pound hammer. Or what you can do, you have these two pilot holes. There's one right here, another right here. These are eight millimeter size holes. So what you want to do is get a uh, two eight millimeter machine bolts. Don't use threaded, you want machined. Put one here, put one here, and it will drive out the rotor. This, in my opinion, is just the quickest, the easiest, and the fastest way to get these off, or to get the rotor off. And then to keep the rotor from spinning, get yourself a screwdriver, and here we go. You can already see on the lip here that it's coming off. There you go. And that's it, it's just that easy. And go ahead and place your brand new rotor or your replacement rotor on the hub. And if you want to torque these, they're uh, rated around 60, 65 foot-pounds. In this case, I'm just going to give it a good tightening. Now with your brand new brake pads, what you want to do is put a little bit of brake grease on the back. A lot of times when you buy brake pads, the uh, part supply will ask if you want a tube of brake grease, and you do. You want this stuff. And also put a little bit on these brake contact points. So your brake pads move nice and smoothly back and forth. Now we need to drive the pistons here back into the bore of the caliper. To do that, I'm going to use a block of wood and a C-clamp. The other way you can do it is get large uh, channel lock pliers and squeeze the, uh, the pistons back into the bore. Make sure also that you remove the uh, cover cap to the master cylinder. And keep an eye on the brake fluid as you compress that piston 
You want to make sure that no brake fluid overflows because it's very, very corrosive. In fact, you can even just place some rags or old t-shirts around here just in case to make sure that nothing gets on any parts. So we're almost done here. The other thing you want to look at is the caliper pin. Make sure that it moves back and forth smoothly and freely. Now these can often seize up. If that's your case, you can't get this guy out. You would have to take a blowtorch and heat up the bottom of the bracket here. Last resort is if you can't get this guy out, replace the whole bracket. You want this to move back and forth quite freely. I do have a video in fact of a failed attempt I made trying to remove this caliper pin using a screwdriver and a heavy hammer and a very, very long screwdriver, something like 24 inches long. Uh, and I just couldn't get this guy out. And it ended up just deforming the circumference of the pin. So again, if you have a problem, sometimes just the fastest way and the easiest way, replace the whole bracket, put a new one on there, but just make sure that this guy is working correctly. And then for this top pin, we'll put also a little bit of brake grease on here. And then just make sure you push the rubber boot back into its place. And if you want to torque these lug nuts, they're 75 foot-pounds. Now before you start the car, make sure you just pump the brake pedal. And that's it.